what is happening right here because if you take a look I'm getting these little pimples right here in the forehead what is happening can you see all these little white dots that I have all over my fingers and also on my face Hi guys, today we're going to be putting to the test the Natural Aqua Gel by Cure for one entire week and honestly see how it soothes, hydrates, and moisturizes my skin after the experiment is over. Before I try this out, I first want to show you what my skin is looking like so that we can see if there's going to be any improvement throughout this week. Now, as you can tell, I definitely have a little bit of redness going on because I am coming out of a breakout. There are acne scars right here. Also, a few active pimples on the cheeks. This is truly my struggle area. And therefore, it's also looking a little bit dull. Now, one thing I need to know is what differs this to a water bottle. Cutting edge, state of the art, condensed form of sparkling water. So on the website, it says natural aqua gel carefully removes a thin layer of rough, dry skin, leaving your skin smooth, supple, and glowing. Excuse me, what? Did I read that right? It's gonna remove a thin layer of my skin. Whoa, what the hell is you doing? Oh my God. We ain't never did that before. Why you thought today was the, the day to do this? I hope that that was just some translation issues here. It contains 91% activated hydrogen water which has antioxidant moisturizing properties oh my god okay so it definitely has a consistency that is more jelly and not completely like water which if you guys watch my videos you know that i prefer jelly consistencies to watery ones on the skin Oh yeah. No, uh, 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 no. Definitely has that smell of you know like when you get a cut and the doctor or your mom trying to disinfect it with that pure rubbing alcohol. Yeah, it has that smell. Oh my god, does this contain alcohol? We're gonna have to read the English letters later on. What is happening? Can you see all these little white dots that I have all over my fingers and also on my face? Like what is this? Why is it rubbing off? Maybe I used too much? So, it's day two, but before we get any further with this experiment, y'all know that we first want to read the ingredients together. So, I don't know if there's going to be any ingredients that might be bad for skin or if everything is in check. It is all in Japanese, and unfortunately, I do not know Japanese. I wish I did, but I don't because I'm illiterate and ignorant like that. You just, you, you sound ignorant. So, I had to look it up on the Googles, and here I have my notes. So, first of all, there is going to be glycerin, which is very common in basically every ingredient list of of every single product is a humectant, quite moisturizing. Then there's going to be citrinium bromide. I didn't know what this was, but it basically helps to cleanse the skin and prevent odor by destroying or inhibiting the growth of microorganisms that are causing the bad odor. So it's basically like a deodorant at this point. All right, shall I put it under my armpits real quick? Then there's also going to be aloe vera. And if you watch my channel, you know that aloe vera is one of my top favorite ingredients at all times because it truly is soothing to the skin. So it's gonna reduce the redness and irritation caused by acne, by eczema, by dry skin, and it is very quite hydrating. Then there's going to be a plant that I never heard of in my entire 20 years of life, and that is going to be the Jinko Bilboa, probably something Japanese, which apparently has amazing antioxidant properties, and also it is skin soothing, and it can increase the skin hydration. And lastly, so as you can see, this is a very simple ingredient list, a very simple product. There's going to be rosemary oil. Now, this could be in theory considered to be fragrance, but still it can help lighten dark spots and blemishes on the skin. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, so once again, kind of like aloe vera gel, can reduce redness and irritation caused by acne or anything, really. So, I mean, the ingredient list, I am happy with it, is very simple. You guys, why was it peeling yesterday? Like, I really want to know. How do I use this product? We interrupt this program to bring you... It turns from this clear liquid, and it starts to turn milky white, and you will actually see all the dead skin this is dead can they see that oh gosh yeah you so guys that's can see that it right product that's dead right. skin so after that brief commercial break we have now understood that the peely stuff is supposed to be our dead skin i quite find that hard to believe just because i feel like it's just a product peeling up but either way girl now we have to understand that you can't use this on the daily because that is too much exfoliation and over exfoliation could definitely be a problem however this is now day three of me using it consistently since i did not know but after this i'm gonna wait two days to reapply it again oh my god guys might they be right 
right? Because it's not peeling up anymore apart from all my lips. So maybe I had a little bit of crusty ass lips. And you guys, all right, come through. So it's day six, guys. But I have to say what is happening right here. Because if you take a look, I'm getting these little pimples right here in the forehead. Which I feel like they're either an allergic reaction to this or something else that is happening right now in my skincare routine. Anyways, I want to see today how much dead skin cells I have left and how much this is going to peel up. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's much that is peeling up, so maybe there's not a lot of dead skin cells. Oh, on the nose, you can see the peeling up bits, especially. So it's day nine. As you can see, the breakout is indeed fading. However, I feel like this didn't help prevent breakout. It didn't help reduce the breakouts quite at all. So, I mean, I definitely have some thoughts that you don't think they actually are what they are. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let me tell you if it's worth spending your money on this or not. Hi, I'm at Randon and everything on me was found in the stomach as sea turtles. So sad. Plastic bottles are literally ruining our planet. But that is why I decided to come up with a solution that would cure the world. Bear with me while I put on my lab coat. Here at Cure, along with some very smart scientist colleagues of mine, we came up with a product that will reinvent exfoliating forever. Aqua Gel. A cutting edge, state-of-the-art, condensed, firm to sparkling water. 5,000 times more exfoliating than any other exfoliator in the market right now. What one drop of this equals to an entire 30ml bottle of any salicylic acid serum. And it also is non-irritating. That means less waste, less irritation, happy turtles, happy mat. Magic! Science. All this talking is making me shed so many dead skin cells. Let me exfoliate a little. Ah. This was so satisfying, 5,000 times more satisfying than usual. Log on to cure.com right now to get your natural aqua gel. Okay guys, I'm done with that little skit, but jokes aside, this is amazing. You know what, I was a little hesitant at the beginning of this brand being called Cure, just because that gives us some very high expectations right from the start, but you, you fulfilled them greatly, actually, wow. Starting off with the positives, shall we talk about the ingredient list, because when I read the ingredients of a product without even seeing what product it is, I'm able to tell if it's a sunscreen, if it's a cleanser, a moisturizer, exfoliator, whatever it is. But with this, I could not tell for the death of me that this was going to be an exfoliating toner. Like, I was so shocked. And this is just because it does not contain any of the traditional exfoliating ingredients like salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, malic acid, and the list can go on forever. Another thing about the ingredient list that it's very just intriguing and peculiar to me is the fact that this not only contains aloe vera gel, so and usually exfoliators don't contain aloe vera and therefore they're not quite soothing, but this can actually soothe your skin while exfoliating, so in that case it would be amazing for sensitive skin types. But on top of that, it says that this is hydrogenated water because in the commercial, not the one that I made, the actual one that I showed you before in the vlogs, those ladies in QVC or whatever that program was, they were saying that this is actually hydrogenated water. That is very peculiar, very interesting, but truly, this is nothing that I've ever come across before. As I said in the commercial, this is truly non-irritating. It was not giving me any irritation at all in the skin. No redness. I was so shocked. Just because salicylic acids, if I were to use a salicylic acid three times in a row, like I did with this at the beginning, you better trust me that with skin would have been really red. With this, it is not. It doesn't sting at all. It leaves, however, my skin feeling a little bit rough. So another thing that I really liked is, of course, the consistency as it comes in a gel and not you know that I love jelly formulas and truly just the experience overall was just very unique and revolutionary. Now speaking of the results that I have seen, I have to be honest with this. I'm still not quite sure that the peeling up that we see is skin. However, truly cutting this back to how I would normally use an exfoliating product. So in my case, I don't like to over exfoliate my skin because that could actually lead to more breakouts, more irritation, and that is truly the opposite of what we want to achieve here. So truly pay attention to not use a salicylic acid serum or a lactic acid serum, by the way, on the daily because that will actually irritate your skin even more and cause it 
to break out and give you more pimples on the side. Not me, certainly not I. But truly, I have to say, even when I cut down on using this like every two days, my skin still feels so glowy. It feels like there is so much less of dead skin cells on the top layer of my skin. Now, I have to say, however, this did not prevent pimples from coming. So truly, if salicylic acid does get into the deeper layers of your skin and actually get rid of blackheads, get rid of pimples, prevent future breakouts, this one, I see it more as an AHA, therefore it's only gonna get rid of the top layers of your skin and resurface them and glow up the skin. So it would be more kind of a lactic acid, in my opinion. I feel like this is an intermediate exfoliator. But so, of course, I was kind of lying in the commercial when I said that <laughs> this was like 5,000 times more exfoliating than any other exfoliating toner out there in the market. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. But we know that in commercials, they always lie to us. They have to pump up the products and just say that it's amazing. So that was my job. That was all I had to do. By the way, I want to disclaim it. This is not sponsored. <laughs> Wrapping this up, the results were there. They were on check. Now, moving on to how to incorporate it in your skin routine and who is this best for skin types. This comes from Japan. She is a Japanese prostitute. Very good. She's going like... <laughs> You know what, she should be paid a lot more than what she's being paid right now. But anyways, that was my reoccurring metaphor on this channel. That when I say that a product is a prostitute, it means that it goes with everything, with all skin types, as long as you purchase them and give her her coins. It is amazing for sensitive skin types because, as I said, it isn't really sensitizing. It didn't give me irritation, didn't give me any red redness. So I feel like this would be amazing for you sensitive folks out there. Of course, the dry skin types, lactic acid, and AHAs are amazing for for dry skin types because they don't penetrate as deep into the skin and BHAs like a salicylic acid arguably could be a little bit stripping of moisture to your skin. So for oily skin types usually that would be fine because we have plenty of moisture anyways but for dry skin where every drop of moisture is precious like my little precious. Ah, what the you definitely have to be sparing and pay attention. But this is an AHA of a form, so in that case, you can definitely use this. And of course, my oily skin types, you can use this as well. Now, how to incorporate it in your skincare routine? I have to say, maybe, but don't quote me on this, but at the same time, quote me, you could even use this on the daily, just because linking it back to the fact that I didn't see irritation the three days that I did use it every single time, maybe it could be an on the daily product. So honestly, try out for yourself, and I want to come to incorporate them in your skin routine, if it were an acid, I would tell you don't mix it with niacinamide and other products because they could actually neutralize each other due to the pH balance. But with this, it isn't really an acid. So truly, I feel like you could incorporate it with literally anything in your skin routine and you would be fine. So go ahead, sis. Have fun with exploring with this. Anyways, child, now the final question that probably y'all might be wondering is, Mateo, would you keep on using this after this experiment is over? And the answer to that is going to be, of course, say yes. I don't know what my accent turned into and changed, but truly it is amazing. Maybe Italian? Probably it is Italian, this accent. I'm not quite sure. I was gonna say, of course I'm gonna use this. This is amazing, revolutionary, show-stopping, talented, never seen before. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. I recommend it, and I actually will tell you where I bought this from. You know the gist already. Of course I got this online because I do not shop things in store. I mean, you would not be able to find this in store because it truly comes only from Japan, but truly either way, even when it comes to normal stuff, I don't go in store because it's just dead dangerous out there. You never know who you could bump into. Your high school bully, even worse, Trump. So just to be sure and safe, get this on Amazon and actually it will run you 39.99 Royal British Pounds for 250 ml. So in my experience, counting that I used this much in one week, honestly, just several months. So truly, you know that your girl always got you covered here. So I actually found the cheapest one thing that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK and a link down below in the pinned comment for you to go buy it. So if you want this, all you gotta do is click that link. But also, I know that some of us want to be a little bit more nifty and grifty with our money, and so truly, I got you covered on that as well. What I can do is shop on yesdow.com, which is a Korean website, and things are a lot cheaper there. And truly, this is going to run you with only 25.44 Royal British Pounds. So truly, it's more than 10 pounds of discount, so it's amazing. Sales are always ongoing, by the way, so you could find this even are cheaper. And, once again, I got you covered. So not only did I link the link to this product down below in the pinned comment, but I also 
also have a discount code for you guys. It's called randoms to get money off your entire purchase and haul at checkout. Anyways, girl, if this was the first video that you saw me, then maybe might I interest you into joining the random family by literally subscribing and turning the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because this, let me tell you, we are all about fighting acne, breakouts, and wrinkles, aging in general. I embody literally both. And also, I'm here to just get your skin routine down to the T and we would love to have you part of the random family. Mwah! I can't wait for you to join. On top of that, if you want to say maybe see a little bit more behind the scene, let me scooch a little bit over here. What you can do is literally follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok, both from Matt Randon, and there we can literally be in contact 24-7 on every social media app that you own. And there's a lot more skincare that you will not be able to see here that you will see over there. Furthermore, if you have any skincare issues at all that you maybe want a little bit of help, do not hesitate to DM me. I will love to help you out. On top of that, to my randoms, I now have a Patreon, which is basically a subscription service website. And basically, by joining and paying a specific amount of money, then you can decide a month that what you can do is basically not only support me into making this YouTube full time in my dream and basically supporting me off this instead of going to university which my mom is forcing me to which I really don't like. All I want to do is provide content for you guys and skincare and just educate the masses which is what I'm hoping my dream would be. But so not only will you support me for that, on top of that I do a lot more exclusive content you can only see there. So lives, I can do your skincare routine specifically for you, dedicated for you. We can just chit chat and kiki have fun. I'm also going to give you specific videos that are a lot more informative than my usual ones that I do here like they go a lot more specific into aging and they're only on patreon so literally i would love if you joined excuse me ma'am what do you think you're doing ah uh -uh, you're not clicking out this video what you want to do right now is click whatever these two videos right here you're just going to be as informative as entertaining whatever this video was for you but while doing that remember to be random and always be random click one of them too, or I swear it'll start pumping this out and it will melt your face because it's 5,000 times more exfoliating than any other exfoliator. Head to cure.com to get yours.